everybody! Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm Jones, and today I'm going to make three awesome vegan sandwiches that are perfect for the fall. Now, two of these I have been making since childhood. One is a recipe that I literally have been making since I was a kid. My mom showed me how to make it, and it was always one of my favorites because it was so easy to make. One of the others is a little bit of a change up from a recipe that I've been making since I was a kid for a Chinese chicken salad. Now this is a salad that we used to order at our favorite Hunan Chinese restaurant and I loved it so much I learned how to make it when I was a kid. It's got a really nice spicy peanut sauce that you are going to love but I decided instead of making it into a salad which I do eat to this day, um, I was gonna make it into a sandwich. So it's a little bit of a Chinese inspired spicy chicken salad sandwich. Now the other sandwiches I'm going to leave for you to find out what they are as you watch the video, but I am saving the best one for last. So make sure you stick around. And in the meantime, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite sandwich is. As always, I will leave the recipes either in the description box below or there will be a link to the recipe on my blog, which is vegerarchy.com. There will also be a link to my free recipe ebook, so make sure you check that out. It's full of delicious and super easy vegan recipes. So I've said enough for now. Let's start making some sandwiches. Okay, our first sandwich is called the Super Supper Sandwich, but really it's great for any meal of the day, and it is an open face sandwich. It's a lot like um, beans on toast, which is a typical British breakfast. I'm just gonna use these Bush's baked beans because they're cheap and it comes in a really big can so I have enough to make for my whole family. I'm just going to heat those on the stove top while I get the rest of the ingredients going. Next up is some smoky tempeh strips or otherwise known as fake and bacon but you can use any kind of bacon substitute that you like. I just sprayed a little bit of oil on the pan. I'm going to fry these up, but if you're doing oil free, you could also heat these up in an air fryer. Next, I'm just going to put a couple of slices of bread in the toaster oven to get all nice and toasty and crispy. Once those are toasted, I'm gonna put those on a pan that fits in my toaster oven, and I'm just spreading some of those baked beans on top of the toast. You definitely wanna toast your bread first or else they'll get really soggy and not toasted on the bottom. Then I'm just going to top those with some of these Daya cheddar slices. I love Daya, but this is the first time I have used these slices, so we'll see how it goes and I'm just putting one slice on each piece. I kept one whole and split the other one in half because the toast was kind of skinny. And then I'm just putting those back in my toaster oven and setting it to broil for five minutes. I did have to raise the shelf up so that it was closer to the heating elements to get it nice and broiled. So once those were done broiling, I just took them out of the oven and I started topping them with the fake and bacon. And I liked the way that these looked with the cheese melted on top, so I decided to go ahead and add another piece on each and real broil them just for looks. I normally would only have one piece of cheese on each of these, but it certainly was yummy this way and looked a lot better for all you people out there in YouTube land. And of course, I sprinkled some nutritional yeast on there before eating it. And I am eating it with a knife and a fork. I don't know, just because it's an open face sandwich and it seemed like the right thing to do, but you do you. I just know you're gonna love this sandwich. It makes a really great meal for any time of day. Next up is my spicy Chinese chicken salad sandwich. 
So I'm going to start by chopping up a bunch of vegetables which are going to go in the chicken salad. So I'm using some radish and some celery and some grated carrot. And this is a little short carrot from my garden, but it's really good. And I like to use a vegetable peeler to grate my carrot. Onto the sauce, we're going to use two tablespoons of peanut butter, but you could use any kind of nut butter or seed butter that you like. Two tablespoons of tamari, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, and then I am just mixing that up until it is all incorporated together. Then I'm adding a tablespoon of brown sugar and about a tablespoon of this ginger paste, which I really like when I'm feeling lazy and don't want to grate up a bunch of ginger. It's really great. And also garlic powder because I'm feeling too lazy to chop up a bunch of garlic. Yes, this is lazy day. And now I am adding some chili garlic sauce. I absolutely love this stuff. So it's adding some more chili, some, sorry, some more garlic and some spicy chili flavor. Next, I'm just adding some water to make a more runny consistency that we'll be able to mix into the rest of the ingredients. I'm using the Tofurky brand of uh, plant-based chicken. And I noticed on the box that it said you could microwave it right in the package, so that's what I did. Normally I would probably fry this up a little bit, but I was again feeling lazy, so I just microwaved it. And then I'm adding all the veggies, and then I'm going to add my peanut sauce and stir that all together. It's time to assemble the sandwich and I toasted some nice whole grain bread and I will tell you that I tried this first without toasting the bread and the bread ended up kind of falling apart so I do recommend using like a sturdy bread or toasting your bread like I did and then I am just topping that with some bean sprouts and some cucumbers and some lettuce but of course you can use whatever kind of veggies you like or even skip it all together because there's already some veggies in the chicken salad. Any way you do it, it's going to be delicious. This is kind of a big sandwich, a little bit messy, so I'm probably going to eat this outside. But isn't it gorgeous? I just know you're gonna love this. The chicken is made out of wheat gluten, so if that's a lot of wheat for you, you can always make this into a salad. And now I'm going to enjoy my sandwich in the great outdoors. All right, I told you I was saving the best recipe for last, and here it is my version of a veggie reuben and this is one of my family's favorite recipes and we eat it for dinner quite frequently but of course it is perfectly suitable for lunch too i'm starting by putting some stone ground mustard on the inside of the bread this is optional but highly recommended and of course sprinkling it with some nutritional yeast and then i'm just going to butter each side of the bread I'm using this Melt brand butter, which I really like. It's got a really nice flavor, but there are lots of different kinds of vegan butter out there, so you can use whatever you like. I'm just buttering both sides of the bread, and then we're going to cook it kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm using the Tofurky brand again because I really like their products. This is not sponsored, but these peppered deli slices are perfect for this recipe. I'm just going to heat them up in a pan really quickly and literally it is just heating them up. I'm not frying them or anything like that. This is a dry non-stick pan. You could actually heat this up in the microwave if you like, but I find that uh, putting them in a pan kind of gives it an extra bit of flavor and then once they're heated up I'm just going to set those aside 
In the same pan, I am putting the bread buttered side down, and then I am adding those slices. And then this time I'm using the Swiss style Daya cheese slices. You could use provolone or really any kind you like, but I prefer the Swiss for this sandwich. And then I'm just going to cook that on both sides, just like you would with a grilled cheese sandwich, so that both sides get brown and the cheese starts to melt on the inside. Then in the same pan, I am heating up some sauerkraut. This is the key ingredient for a good Reuben and it is so tasty. So once I've heated that up, I'm just going to open up that sandwich and add the sauerkraut. Don't be stingy! Like I said, this is an important ingredient and it makes it so tasty. This sandwich is so good. It really is, I think, probably my absolute favorite sandwich and my family loves it too. We eat them all the time. And if you're gonna try any one of these recipes, I highly recommend that you try this one. You just can't go wrong. It is so good and I know you're gonna love it. So I hope you like those sandwich recipes. They are definitely some of my favorites, especially the Reuben and the Super Supper sandwich. And don't forget to check out the description box below for the recipes or links to the recipes on my blog, vegerarchy.com. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite sandwich is. And if you want more inspirational, delicious vegan recipes, make sure you check out one of these videos or playlists that'll be linked here. And I will see you in the next video. For now, eat well and peace out.